For this project, I'm going to be using one of these picture frames that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using two of these uh, dictionary, this is a vintage dictionary page that is a free printable. The, all I did was go on Google and I just Googled free vintage dictionary pages and um, this is what I found. So I just went ahead and printed off two sheets of it. It's the same thing. It's just, um, it says prayer up here and it gives a bunch of different uh, words and stuff. So I just printed off two of these because our picture frame is long and the just one sheet of this won't be enough. So I'll have to go in and kind of patch it together and add another piece. And then I'm also going to be using one of these Main Street wall decals that I got from the Dollar Tree. This one has two sunflowers with a couple of little bees on the front there. And then on the back side is one sunflower with a little bee. So I'll probably be using the um, one with the two sunflowers and the bees. I'm not sure yet. I do have another picture frame over here, so I will probably make a second one of these and I will just use um, whatever I didn't use for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just take the backing off of this picture frame and all I'm doing is lifting up these tabs here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the back and then I want to go ahead and take out this part and I'm going to go ahead and remove this other the matting okay so now that I have the backing of the picture frame taken off I'm just going to be using two sheets of that dictionary uh, that I, the dictionary page that I printed off and I will be using one whole entire sheet and then I will be only using about half or um, about a third of the um, second sheet. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my scissors and I'm just going to trim around the edges to trim off the white part of the printer paper. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with some of this Mod Podge. This is the matte finish, but you can use whichever one that you want. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush, and I'm just going to squirt some of my Mod Podge onto my cardboard here. And I'm just going to give it a light coat. I don't want anything real heavy, just a light coat of the Mod Podge. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking um, a piece of that dictionary paper and I'm just going to place this where I need it to go on my piece of cardboard backing here. Okay, so I'm going to take my dictionary sheet here and I'm just going to place this where I need it to go on this cardboard backing and I want to get it as even as I can. Trying to line up the edge of this. I'm going to pull this off a little bit so I can realign it. I'm just going to kind of smooth that down, try to get some of the bubbles out with my fingers. It seems like there's like this right here. I don't think I got a whole lot or enough Mod Podge there. I'll just kind of brush a little bit on there. And then I think I'm probably going to need some more down here. I 
smooth that around. Okay, so now I'm going to take the second sheet and where we have this uh, spot of the cardboard backing left that's not covered, we're just going to try to patch these um, sheets together. So I'm just going to take that sheet there and I'll line it up to the bottom edge, to the bottom there, at the bottom of the cardboard. So where that's at. And then I'm going to fold the sheet back and I just want to kind of cut this sheet to where um, it, it's going to overlap this bottom part of the sheet um, of our first sheet of our dictionary paper. So I'm just going to kind of fold my paper up to where that point would probably be. It doesn't have to be exact, but just something close. So about right there. I'm just going to kind of fold that over there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut along that fold. Try to cut it as straight as I can get it. So next I'm just going to take some of my Mod Posh here, squirt it onto my cardboard, paint this on, and I want to take my Mod Posh up to where this bottom line is of that first piece of the dictionary paper. Try to go along the line there. And then just smooth the rest of the Mod Podge down. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my sheet and I'm going to line it up as best as I can to the bottom of the cardboard piece here. And it's okay if a little bit of it um, hangs over because we are going to be trimming off some of this paper. Get this lined. I think I'll just start from up here at the top of this. About right there. Okay. I'm just going to smooth that paper down with my hands. Try to get the wrinkles um, and the bubbles out. If you have still have some wrinkles left in it, that's perfectly fine because you know this is old vintage looking paper. So it'll just add to that. It'll add to that vintage look. Okay, so here is what it's looking like so far. So now I'm going to turn it over on the back side and where this paper is overhanging, I'm just going to trim that up um, because I you know, we don't need that part. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to trim off the excess paper, and then I will come right back. Okay, so now that I have the white edges trimmed off, I'm going to move on and I'm going to add my uh, wall decals. So I'm not going to be able to put the whole entire sunflower on, and I'm fine with that. I don't want um, the sunflower to come all the way to the top. I kind of want to leave some space up here so that you can still kind of read the wording and everything. And then when I get closer to the bottom, I will be cutting a part of the sticker um, of the decal off because I don't want it to come all the way to the bottom. So um, what I'm going to do now is just start peeling the sticker from the paper. And be really careful when you do this because it does tend to stick and you can rip the decal. Especially when it gets down to uh, the leaves, it does like see right here. It just wants to stick, so I'm just going to pull, kind of peel that paper back to release that. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to figure out where I want this. And I know that I want some of my, the top of the paper, the wording and stuff showing. So I don't want this completely at the top. I kind of want to come down. Okay, so I'm going to come probably about two, two to three inches down. Try and center it as best as I can. I want it about right there. And then, like I said, I don't want the uh, stem to come all the way down. So I think I'm going to cut it off right about, I think probably about right here. So I'm just going to snip that part. And then I'm going to cut around this part of this leaf. There we go. So now that I have this where I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it down. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and grab the little B stickers that are on here and put these wherever I want them. I think I want one right about right there. And then I have this one right here left. I'll go ahead and add this one. I think I'll just add it about right there. Okay, so here is what it's looking like. Um, so now I'm going to take the piece that we just did and I'm going to flip it over and then I'm just going to place it back inside the picture frame. So there is the photo. I think this is so cute. So I have this one right here and then I did do a second one. I'll show it to you guys now. So now I have two matching sunflower dictionary page pictures. Let me knock over my glue gun. But um, anyway, so yeah, I think these are super duper cute. And I will be hanging these up on my front porch to go with the rest of my uh, summer, spring, fall decor that I have out there. So uh, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can see pictures. So here is how the project turned out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!